My name is Faye Johnstone. I am a principal consultant with Wisdom to Action, and I am joining you today to share news of our recent report entitled Beyond Platitudes, a bold 2SLGBTQ plus agenda for the 2021 federal election. This report details our eight recommendations for how political parties, candidates, and whoever forms government can prioritize key 2SLGBTQ policies to deliver on change, health, safety, and rights for our communities. First and foremost, this report emphasizes that we need to move beyond platitudes, beyond empty rhetoric and symbolism, and engage in concrete actions, actions that put the funding and resources in place to create long-term change. Too often, our communities and our identities are used as political talking points to score cheap points on opponents rather than substantively engaged upon. With that in mind, these eight recommendations, endorsed by the Canadian Centre for Gender and Sexual Diversity and the Enchanté Network, who collectively are two of the leading 2SLGBTQ organizations in Canada, give us a way forward, a way to make concrete change happen. And we are calling on all candidates, all parties, and all elected officials to make that happen. Our recommendations include, first and foremost, a $25 million a year annual investment in funding for 2SLGBTQ community organizations. Because these organizations are on the front lines every day, managing the numerous crises from housing and homelessness to poverty to violence and discrimination that are impacting our communities. By investing in 2SLGBTQ community organizations, we can put the right resources and services in place to help our communities grow, thrive, and address systemic homophobia, transphobia, and other forms of oppression. Our second recommendation is a federal conversion therapy ban and a national strategy to end conversion therapy. While all parties support a conversion therapy ban, it is our belief that it is intrinsic or essential that this ban includes a all age ban that reflects the unique needs of trans and gender diverse communities who are also or are often impacted by particular forms of conversion therapy practice that must be recognized and addressed in this legislation. We also know that a ban on a piece of legislation is insufficient. We have folks in this country who have been harmed by such a horrific, torturous, and traumatic practice. To actually support those folks, we need dedicated resources and mental health services for survivors. We also need to get proactive. We can't just put a ban in place. We need to implement that ban. That includes training for service providers, training for faith leaders, and reporting mechanisms so that when we identify conversion therapy practices, we can report them and have them addressed as they need to be. Thirdly, we need to enact full decriminalization of sex workers and sex work. This has to take place alongside deep consultation with sex workers and with community organizations advocating for sex work communities. Banning sex work is not an effective approach Sex worker rights are human rights, and it is time that federal legislation entrench those rights in law. Fourth, universal and accessible gender affirming health care. We have a horrifying state of trans health care in this province or in this country. Different provinces have different coverage, and there is no consistency in place, despite the idea that public universal health care should indeed be equal and accessible to us all. Our recommendation calls on the federal government and political parties to work with provinces to use the Canadian health transfer to incentivize full coverage of trans and gender diverse health care, as well as comprehensive, inclusive services across the health spectrum for all 2SLGBTQ plus communities. Through federal leadership, we can bring provinces and territories together and put trans health on the agenda and create a trans healthcare system that is responsive to and reflective of the needs of our communities. Recommendation number five is a federal ban on invasive, medically unnecessary surgeries on intersex people. Canada has consistently violated the rights of intersex children through a legal exemption allowing invasive, non-consensual, and medically unnecessary surgeries on intersex kids. Criminal Code Section 2683 allows for parents and medical practitioners to undertake these surgeries on intersex infants without their consent. These surgeries have been cited by the United Nations as amounting to torture or cruel, inhuman, and degrading treatment of individuals. It is time to repeal Section 2683 and create a new way forward in consultation with intersex communities. 
Recommendation number six is the full implementation of the 2S LGBTQQIA plus sub working group of the MMIW G2S LGBTQQIA plus national action plan final report. This report details priorities around health, safety, and justice for indigenous, two spirit, and indigi queer communities. It is an integral document to inform our efforts around inclusion for 2S LGBTQ communities from a lens that centers and supports indigenous folks on this land. Too often our issues are siloed or considered to be siloed, but there is no justice for indigenous or for 2S LGBTQ people without justice, solidarity, truth, and reconciliation for two-spirit indigi queer LGBTQ people. Seven, eradicate the anti-2S LGBTQ blood ban. This is something we have been advocating for for years on end. It is time to end the ban. It is time to ensure that our ban or our policies around blood donation are behavior-based rather than identity-based. Because identity-based bans will always and always have been discriminatory. And this ban in particular has a horrifying, sends a, so a horrifying message to gay folks, to trans folks, and particularly impacts many of the most marginalized members of our communities while also reducing the blood supply and creating a, 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 an urgency and a lack of supply that could be addressed through more inclusive policies. Number eight, last but certainly not least, is full implementation of the HESA report on LGBTQ2 plus health. This report was authored by the House of Commons Committee for the Study of Health and details comprehensive recommendations to improve health and well-being in Canada for 2S LGBTQ communities. However, few of those recommendations have been put into action, and we haven't seen any clear message from any political party or government indicating their strategy, their funding, or their plan to make these recommendations happen. We have the evidence, we know what to do, we can implement the HESA report and take real steps forward on 2S LGBTQ inclusion. To everybody engaging in this election, we encourage you to write to your candidates, to write and work with your local communities to advocate for 2S LGBTQ issues. It is time to move beyond platitudes, beyond symbolism and empty rhetoric, and move towards real policy solutions that will improve the lives of 2S LGBTQ people. If you'd like to check out the report in full, you can go to www.wisdom2action.org forward slash election 2021. Thank you so much for your time, and let's advocate for real action on 2S LGBTQ issues in election 2021.